The entire crowd was rejoicing at all the wonderful things that he was doing. Why do today what you can put off until tomorrow is simultaneously one of the best and the worst lessons I have ever learned. A comfortable routine and predictable tomorrow has a deceptive allure. There are a million and one reasons I can come up with in order to excuse my conscience from leaving off something important until later. They all sound very reasonable. Perhaps I should have been a criminal defence lawyer. The Lord doesn't procrastinate. There is work to be done now. The tree needs manure to grow, and tomorrow might not have enough spare hours to get into the garden to do the necessary work. If Jesus had decided to become incarnate in our time and not 2,000 years ago, he wouldn't have ever been found mindlessly scrolling on his phone. Every action was carefully planned, his every effort designed from before the creation of the world. Every second of every minute was spent doing something to the glory of God and the blessing of his people. Perhaps this is an underappreciated aspect of Christ's nature. Perhaps it isn't as big a deal as we would make it be. But to consider that he was tempted in every way, yet he did not sin, and one of the side effects of his perfect nature was that he was always doing something wonderful, this speaks to the heart of Christ, to what he is like as a person. He created time and decided to fill that time with wonderful things. No wonder the entire crowd was rejoicing. <laughs>